Hi, this is Richard White, and uh, today we're going to look at Windows 10 and how you can launch a Bash shell on Windows 10. Uh, I'm going to launch a couple of these here, and we're going to be taking a look at a fork bomb, which is a way of uh, using up memory in your computer to the point where it crashes. So the first thing I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, use, this is the new anniversary edition, so it's got a Unix Linux style bash in here. It's it's actually Ubuntu Linux here. You can see the little logo there running. So uh, we're going to take a look at the processes that we have running here. So you can see I've got a couple bash cells and I'm running this top. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this up a, a little bit here. So set that off to the side. And then down here in the second terminal window, this is where we're going to write our uh, fork bomb. And this is a way, again, of, of using up all the memory in the computer. So the way you can do this, there's a, a couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to be very explicit about it. So I'm going to uh, define a uh, procedure here called BOM. And uh, to define that procedure, then I place the commands every time I say BOM. I'm going to put the uh, commands or the instructions that will get executed between curly braces here. And so when we call the bomb function here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, let's call the bomb function and pipe whatever happens as a result of calling that bomb function to another bomb function. And then this and sign will uh, allow that to continue in the background. So I've defined my function there, and you can see what happens. When we call bomb, we're actually going to have bomb call another bomb function that's going to call itself and also pipe the result of calling that bomb function to the bomb uh, another bomb function so basically we're going to be forking or creating two bomb function calls as a result of this single call so i'm going to end that function there and uh, if i just did this that wouldn't really do anything so now what i also need to do is call the bomb function so as soon as I hit enter, we're going to see this, uh, this one-line procedure start to create processes, multiple processes. Um, I'm going to take a look at the top up here, the top command. It looks like I've got, like I've got four tasks running there. Uh, we'll see what happens as we launch this, all right? So this is a command that, or, or a result that was revealed here. And although it looks like we've completed the process here, what's happening behind the scenes, we've got that and sign here, putting everything in the background. What's happening be behind the scenes is this forking process is starting to happen. So all we need to do is wait for a little bit here and see what happens. You can see that I'm not really getting the uh, updates that I was here a moment ago. So this was ticking by, the time was ticking by, and I had these tasks that were listed. Um, but all of that has kind of come to a halt. It hasn't actually come to a halt, it just hasn't been able to update because this process down here is going haywire. This is all happening behind the scenes here. Uh, you can see I've got the first sign of trouble there. I've got a little busy indicator there, that little icon indicating that things are getting busy. If I come back up here, oh, it's like I've got uh, a memory allocation problem. Uh, it's indicating that there's a fork problem there. I was hoping that I could come, uh, come up here and get some sort of update on all of this, but I can't even get that going. I uh, wonder if I control C to get out of this process in this window. Just hit control C, nothing doing up there. It's not able to uh, do anything with that. And down here, you can see I've got that first error message. It may take a little bit longer for this to happen, so let's just wait and see what happens as we, uh, as we continue to fork that bomb function. Looks like we lost our window there. Notice I've got a not responding error message here, so... Um, you can tell there's something going on in the background. Oh, that window came back. That's a little bit odd. And you can see the number of tasks here, 49 running, 52 total. So it did get a chance to update that window a little bit. That's interesting. It's really uh, starting to suffer a little bit. I, I don't know if you can hear, but I just heard the fan come on. So these processes are continuing to fork in the background. We 
we're starting to see more of those processes appear. And now we've really run into some trouble here. Repeated memory allocation errors. And I don't know if you saw it there, just for a moment there was a blue screen of death there before this virtual instance uh, crashed and then started rebooting itself. So we'll take a look at that again in the instant replay. And that was a fork bomb executing on Windows 10 Bash.